السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا ورچوئل کلاس آف انگلش بی آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر ان گڈ ہیلتھ اینڈ اسپرٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا بیسک کانسیپٹس آف پنکچویشن سو اوپن یو ٹارگیٹنگ گرامرس ٹاپک پنکچویشن اسٹاپ ایٹ پیج نمبر نائنٹین سو وی کین ڈسکس فردر سو اسٹوڈنٹس ناؤ وی آر آن پیج نمبر نائنٹین اینڈ ہیئر وی ول سی that what are punctuation marks writers mark the text to help readers make meaning these marks are called punctuation marks so students basically punctuation helps the reader to read the text more effectively and helps to make the meaning clear some of the punctuation that writers use to mark their text are full stop question mark comma and capital letters so first we will discuss capital letters the alphabet has big letters and small letters the big letters are called capital letters students now you have got familiar with the concept of capital letters so let's move to our question number 1 read the statement circle only the capital letters so in the line given there are both capital letters and small letters but we only have to circle the capital letters first we will circle capital d then capital m capital s capital t capital b capital l and in the last capital a in our question number 2 we will see the use of capital letters capital letter is used at the start of each sentence or you can say that a sentence always begin with a capital letter in our question number 2 we have to circle the words with capital letters now read the line number 1 this man is kite surfing in this line the word this starts with a capital letter t because t is the first letter of this sentence so in this line we will circle this he rides a flat board in this line the word he starts with a capital letter h so we will circle he he holds on to a kite in this line the word he starts with a capital letter h so we will circle he the wind fills the kite and pulls him across the top of the water in this line the word the starts with capital letter t so we will circle the kite surfing is a very fast sport in this line the word kite surfing starts with a capital letter k so we will circle kite surfing students our next punctuation mark is full stop writers also use a full stop to mark the end of each sentence when you read stop and take a breath at every full stop this helps you to understand what the writer is saying so students we have learned that every sentence ends with a full stop now let's move to our question number 3 Here we will read the paragraph and practice full stop. This man is kite surfing. He rides a flat board. He holds on to a kite. The wind fills the kite and pulls him across the top of the water. Kite surfing is a very fast sport. Thank you kids. I hope you all have enjoyed our today's class. Now practice this page at home I will see you in the next video till then take care Allah Hafiz